uh, extremely uh, big problem. So um, one of the, the slides I uh, I showed to these uh, museum directors is, is this slide. It's, uh, it's Move My Data from the Move My Data Park. Everybody know, knows the slide, this slide. It's a site that allows you to, uh, to transport your profile from one public network, uh, one social network to the other. But uh, I like the slogan. Yeah? If you can't move your data, I feel it's really yours. And, and all my data, for my, for my research, is on this laptop, right? I can, I can bring it everywhere. And on, on this data, is, on this laptop, is the complete uh, collection management uh, dump of the Rijks Museum in Amsterdam. It has the complete dump of the, uh, everything that's on display at the moment in the, in the Louvre. And there's several museums on it. All my research experiments and the results are there. And when I ask these museum directors, okay, if you want to, to bring your data, can you do it? And they all say no. So no way. Because I, first, they don't know where the data is. They don't know who's responsible for the data. Uh, if they know, they know that there is a third, third party uh, company responsible for the data and it's hosted somewhere in the data warehouse, and they have no clue how to get access to it, but I can accept. And it's not really yours. It's their data. They can decide what to do with it, not, not you. Um, and also the, the problem is, which is related, uh, that many museums, many libraries, uh, many archives, they don't have skilled ICT personnel. And so if you, if you go down and you find the, the person in the, in the organization responsible for this data, you say, okay, if I want to have this dump, you say, okay, I have to call somebody else, because I don't know how to make a dump from the database. Um, if they have a database or a content management system uh, at all. I also, also talked to people that maintain small museums, that maintain the collection management system in an Excel sheet, or even on a MS Access a database, or a Word file, or just on paper. Right, so that's, that's really a really good problem. And uh, usually these are small museums, but I've also talked to some pretty big institutes. I was completely shocked that this was the state of affairs. This is why I paid my tax money for. Um, I will not um, mention the names here. <laughs> not on the video. Um, but so these are the technical problems. Also social barriers, right? So this, this uh, domain, for, for centuries, they've been focused on, on curation, on taking care of the data. And they have these climate controlled uh, uh, archives that are built to last for centuries, and to make sure that the content lasts for centuries. Um, they're also um, trained to be the authority on the, on the topic. And so these people, so the, the people from the Rijks Museum, the uh, Rijks Museum is known from the Rembrandt paintings, anything they will claim about Rembrandt has to, on the website, on the public website, has to be checked, checked, double checked. Because otherwise they feel, okay, if there's, if there's some problem with, with the quality of the data, that it deteriorates their, uh, their uh, image as, a, as an authority on the, on the field. So I talked to people that um, when we agreed to put all the records of the content management system online, said, well, fine, we'll do it, but we will first check them. I said, okay, but we're talking about 700,000 records. Who's going to check them all? If you think about it, uh, we first put them online, and if there's something wrong, <laughs> then we're going to fix it. But then they don't want to. They want to check first and then uh, put it online and make it open. Uh, so they have to get used to uh, giving up some control. You cannot be open and control everything. That's also what's playing uh, the role in this uh, Nazi newspaper uh, website. But you have to give up control. If you put up this data, you know there's going to be a chance that some people are going to misuse it. There's going to be a, a, a neo Nazi party doing all kinds of stuff with the content that you don't like. And that's just a fact of life. You cannot be open and prevent that at the same time. May, um, I, may I ask a question? Sure. Um, all the articles, it, it, uh, it seems now that they are scanned, so yes. they are pictures. So it is not easy to query them, to query data in articles. Is that I, I think they also uh, they did the scans, but also did the OCR. But I have, I mean, this website came online yesterday, and I, didn't check it into full detail. Okay. But I believe that they also did the OCR job and they are searchable because uh, when I searched, yeah. um, I saw the articles and all the all my search terms were highlighted in the picture. That, but, but that could also be tech, uh, 
protect uh, search words, which are com uh, combination with pictures in the database itself. Okay. So every, every so every occasion of the phrase uh, for Yoda for Boda mm -hmm. was highlighted in the in the body of the text. Okay. So I think they are. But uh, apart from that, uh, was another point you want to make about uh, the images only or, or full text? Okay. Um, so yeah. So even if you put uh, things online, the question is in what format and how it's I just wanted. So that's, that's a good point. Um, so uh, people might uh, reuse content and add information that's wrong. And then, uh, so if, if you open up the, your website to, uh, to this uh, web two uh, kind of stuff, uh, where people can comment on, uh, on on things on their regular website, for example, and they are very worried about can people still see the difference? What's our content? What's from the from the public? Um, and what's really scary me is okay. What if other people do a better job than we do? <laughs> what if other people make a better website than our website with our content? That would be that would be really really horrible, really or not? Uh, and they're they're still uh, at the end of the day they, they have to uh, report to the to the government with the numbers of visitors right to the museum itself, but also to the website, and uh, how does all this open content affect uh, these numbers? People still come to the website, was it? Still, will people still come to the museum? You know, interesting questions for them. So, um, all these walls are there, but they're slowly going down. And that's because there's, there's lots of social uh, pressure to start building these bridges. Um, first of all, most of these uh, are publicly funded institutes, and the Dutch government is really uh, pressing them now to make uh, these content open and to ask, allow these, uh, these other parties to do uh, stuff with their content. And there's even a, uh, a funding uh, scheme which is called uh, Digitalisering with the Life, which is one of the major funding schemes for this uh, sector to, uh, to digitize data. And in the, in the scheme, it's a requirement that, for instance, that you use uh, open standards like XML and Dominic Core metadata. And if you don't do that, you don't get any money. So it's very, very simple, but it works. And uh, they also, uh, you know, most of these um, organizations, they have locked up uh, this stuff in climate control areas. And if you want to uh, see it, you have to go to one of the reading rooms, the Studiezaal in Dutch, and ask permission uh, to see it. But right? you have to uh, hand in your, your ink-based pens, you have to hand, hand in your, uh, your luggage, your, your bag, and you have to sometimes wear these white clothes, and then you can get access. So who has, who has ever done this? Uh, nobody. Yeah, Mr. P. <laughs> so, and, and the, the numbers are decreasing. So there, there, are, there have been few where people, but the, the numbers go down. But the numbers of the visitor website, they go up. And, and, and museums and libraries, they, they know this. And they, they, uh, they know that websites are getting more important and there has to be more content on the website. And uh, the really, really important uh, factor in these areas is fear of Google. And if we don't do it, Google will do it and we will lose our visitors to Google. And the Americans will control our, our heritage. And uh, this is playing a bit in the Netherlands, but this is a really a, a motivating factor, for instance, in France, to, uh, to have huge projects on, uh, on digitization of, of books and, and heritage. Just out of fear of Google. Um, so there are still uh, also technical problems to, to make these bridges. Uh, I mentioned the synthetic interoperability, just performance uh, don't, uh, don't match, but XML is getting more and more uh, uh, standardized here, so that problem is, uh, is solving itself. And you see a lot of uh, data published in some common uh, XML scheme, typically using uh, Dominic Core format. So that's, uh, that's improving, but what is uh, my topic of research is this semantic interoperability. And I'm going to show you some uh, some examples of things that go down, that go wrong, if you only concentrate on this and forget about that. Uh, what so about you point out this and that? Sorry, uh, <laughs> the, the this was the uh, XML syntax-based yes. compatibility, and the that was the uh, semantic okay. uh, compatibility. Okay, what what does it take? 
mean? What does the content of the tag mean? And does this website mean the same thing, the same word as, as the other website? I understand. Yes. Thanks. So uh, this is a quiz. Uh, it's also visual based. Uh, so who recognizes the logo? This is the logo of the uh, European project. And uh, the European project is this huge uh, European funded um, project where this, this fear of Google uh, plays a big role. And they uh, are aiming at making a, a single portal for the entire European heritage. There are really thousands of libraries, archives, and museums feeding into this portal. And with all the problems you can imagine, um, I've been in many overly big European research projects, but this, this tops it all. Right, so the, the amount of projects affiliated with the main project is so huge that I can't uh, name them all. Uh, I am in, involved in two of them. Uh, no, I'm involved in three of them. Uh, I'm involved in two of the main projects and one of the related projects. Uh, this is really, 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 really big. And um, it's going to fail, right? <laughs> I, uh, maybe I should not say this on camera, but I think, I think it's going to fail. And I'm gonna. I think it's gonna be a successful player. So, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna explain. Yeah. I have a question about this fear of Google, and that, so that this initiative is uh, motivated by fear of Google. Couldn't. Uh